Sparkling water is my favourite. What's going on everyone and welcome to the video. My name's Hayden, you're watching FBA TV. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, then please, please go ahead and do that. It helps the channel. Bish bash boosh. In this video, I'm going to talk about Amazon FBA and how it's dying. And in 2023, this is very, very different. There's a lot of people that are whew, confused why they can't source deals as well as they used to. There's a lot of people that are confused about the competition that is on Amazon. There's a lot of people that think Amazon is the same as it used to be when actually it's changed a lot. Now, when I started selling three years ago, ish online arbitrage in the uk was an extremely different a extremely different environment okay retail arbitrage was extremely different the competition was nowhere near as high as it was now as high as it is now a lot of the pl type stuff the competition wasn't there you know you could launch some products not what i did back then but you could launch some products and there would be literally no competition and you could absolutely clean up it's changed it's changed in 2023 and I want to talk about the fact why I think it is dying in a certain way but that doesn't mean that it's dead it doesn't mean that it's dead but it is dying okay the old way of doing it is dying the old way of doing it if you are still let's take online arbitrage for example if you are still buying from and i can't believe that people still do this if you have a subscription to a deal sheet or to a discord group right which gives you deals right fantastic roi of 30 percent deals right and you expect to just be able to sit there and buy them because you used to be able to do this to sit there and buy deals from a deal sheet and actually make money from them anywhere near the 30 percent roi even even waiting for them to recover and it's oh it's going to be absolutely fine i'll just wait for the prices to recover that has significantly or use a software by the way use a software which is pretty much using a deal sheet anyway if you're using a software that everyone else is using to find these deals if you're sitting there and think it's going to be easy and you can just buy deals and send them in like that you are in for a shock i would not recommend doing that the death has already come of that kind of amazon selling in my opinion you have to be creative you have to bring in your own unique elements into the way that you sell you have to be more advanced you have to pick a method and you have to go with it if you're sporadic and you're all over the place you're going to struggle now you might be thinking what on earth is he coming out of his mouth he's talking absolute dribbage let me explain if you pick a way of selling this is how i think so it's dying in a sense that people are still trying to do the old way. If you want to succeed, then you have to do this. You have to pick a certain way of selling that works for you. Let me explain. There's a lot of people that do online arbitrage and wholesale, and they don't expect they don't buy deals and expect deals to stay the same and then get frustrated when they crash. They buy deals that are already crashed, or they know that they've cr they're going to crash. They buy a lot of them. And this isn't financial advice. I'm telling you to go and buy 100, you know, pieces of you know, bloody um, Disney dolls, by the way. But they will buy 100 of something or 200 of something, knowing they're going to make 50p profit on that. And they, will, and, and, they, and they have a low margin, high volume gain. And some people might be thinking, oh, yeah. And then some, a lot of people go on that listing of, oh, I'll just get rid of that. It's pretty much break even. But they've seen the opportunity in there and they've picked that way of selling. They've gone straight in. Okay. Now, that's a way that you can utilize a business. That's just one example of a way that you can utilize this, okay? Or there is sellers that will go for the much higher margin stuff, very, very low sales, opportunities that some people think are not even an opportunity anymore, and they will buy them, and they will buy a two or three, and they will go extremely wide, and they will wait for that to sell. And they are selling on listings that most people think aren't even selling at all because they can't even read a keeper graph properly. And I think it's selling two a month because it's got two drops in the graph and it's actually selling a few more than that. And then they're sort of cleaning up around that. Or you've got people that are, have realized what's going on. They go to different marketplaces and they sell in all these different marketplaces and they're absolutely cleaning up. Or you've got people that are doing their own private label type stuff and they're absolutely cleaning up because they're going into opportunities. They're using Jungle Scout, they're using Helium 10. They're finding opportunities, not necessarily to get thousands of thousands of sales a month, but even if they get one sale a day or one sale every two days from a listing that they've created, 
wow, you know, that you can build a big business on that and you can go really wide with that sort of way. Or there's people that are, have realized that online arbitrage is really struggling. It's sort of dying in a sort of certain way in the UK. Some people say it isn't, but it's, it's, it's obviously got a lot harder. And all they do is create multi-packs. They create packs of two, packs of three, packs of four around the best sellers that they had. And there might be a few alarm bells going off here. There might be a few thought tiers, you know, sort of hurrah moments, uh, you know, that you, that you thought that, that I've just said there. But there's just so many ways that you can sell. But to do it the old way, to, to, do the, to follow the sheep and do it the old way that everyone used to think worked is a recipe for disaster. You've got to be unique. You've got to do something different. You've got to be creative and you've got to really, really be committed. That is all I can say. You've got to be committed to doing it in a unique way. You've got to be committed to doing it in a way that you think not everyone is doing it. Right. And I, I've said this in my last videos, you know, there's there's opportunities where like even, for, for example, oversized stuff like people that were actually see see these hardships in the business of oh i can't sell oversized i can't sell hazmat or anything like that why don't you go into that quick interruption to introduce my new sponsor so i'm now sponsored by buybot pro buybot pro is an amazon fba product research tool and calculator not only can you work out your fees how much profit you're going to be making from your products but there's multiple products within the service of this software, including a built-in keeper type graph. Therefore, if you have this, you don't need keeper. Loads of other features on this tool. If you want a 14 day free trial for Bybot Pro, which I've been using for years now, check out the link below, get that 14 day free trial. And I'll let's carry on with the video. Rather than backing off from things that cost you a little bit of hard work, like hazmat, like wholesale, like logistics, why don't you figure a way out to do that? Why don't you figure a way to actually ship in the hazmat in a reliable way or to ship in the oversized products, you know? Um, you can make the numbers work on a lot more stuff than you think you can, but the old conventional way of thinking, oh, if it has mat, let's ignore, let's ignore it. If it's oversized, let's ignore it. If it's got, you know, oh, oh yeah, a deal sheet, let's just get that, it'll be fine, you know? The old way of thinking is not going to do it anymore. You've got to have a precise, clear plan of action and you've got to dive into that niche or way of doing it that works and figure out a way that works for you. That's how people are making money in this game. Make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.